Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrofil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi rasulillahi ajma'in. The Honorable Mr. Nuwardi MD, I am Selasetiani and my supervisor Mem Rizki Amelia MPD. Okay, here I will presentation for my proposal with the title The Effect of Using Dictionary Game on Students Speaking Ability of the 8th Grade at SMP Negeri Jalanka. The first background of the research. Speaking is a skill and using oral communication in social situation result in overthinking. According to Nunan, uh, 2003, speaking are the ability to carry out conversation in ling language and how to learn to use communicate words and ideas in English. In the syllabus for class 8 uh, in junior high school, is it expect to be able to identify social function, text structure, and element of of spoken and written language as well as chapter contextual and conceptual meaning. But based on preliminary research conducted at SMP Negeri Tiga Langgam on March 18, 2023, the researcher found many problems in teaching a grade students to speak. And in fact, after interviewing the English teacher at this school, Speaking has been taught in various ways, but student speaking ability is still low. So, to improve student speaking ability, the researcher in this research will use dictionary game. Okay, and then problem of the research. Identification of problem. Based on the background, students have a lot of difficulty understanding the material. They cannot ident identify object around them correctly due to lack of vocabulary. They are also less interested in learning English and are afraid of making mistakes in pronunciation due to low grammar. While students also feel uncomfortable, insecure, or bored learning because they use simple and monotonous learning strategy. So, students feel less challenged and less interested. And then limitation of the research. And based on the identification of the problem, it is impossible for a researcher to discuss all problems. Therefore, it's important for a researcher to limit the problem in this research. So it's clear that the, the researcher is focused on the effect of using literary game on students' ability at SMP Negeri Tiga And then from formulation of the problem. There are three formulation of the problem in this research. The first, how is the student's being ability to by using the dictionary cam? And the second, how is the student's speaking ability to without using the dictionary cam? And the third, is there a significant difference to student's speaking ability by using the dictionary cam? Okay. And then uh, we are going to chapter 2. In this research, there are five relevant research. Number one from Ardila 2019. Number two from Husnul Ima and Ahmad 2022. Number three from Uni Kemer Fabrika and Renata 2022. Number four from Ardi Clary and Surmiati 2022. And the last from Sri Andi Usman and Ibrahim, 2022. And then operation. Okay, and then operational concept. There are two variable in this research. Dictionary came as the independent variable, and speaking ability as a dependent variable. And according to Tamburi 2002, dictionary came involves Students guessing words are processed based on picture. Student create picture 
a clause of a word and team member must identify uh, accurately. And in this same game, participant try to choose short find word from a team image picture and then describe the picture. Okay, and then assumption and hypothesis in okay assumption researcher in this research assume that there is a significant difference in student speaking ability between before and after using dictionary game at a grade at SMP Negeri Tinggalanggam and hypothesis H no there is no significant difference between student speaking ability without being talked and talked by using the dictionary game at SMP Negeri Tinggalanggam and HA there is a significant difference between student speaking ability of the students without being talked and talked by using the dictionary game at SMP Negeri Tinggalanggam Okay, we are going to chapter 3, research method. Okay, uh, in this research, the researcher use a quantitative approach with a quasi-experimental design and location in this research at SMP Negeri Tiga Langgam. And uh, in this research, it will be conducted from July until August 2023. A grade of SMP Negeri Tiga Langgam as a subject and the object um, the use of using dictionary game for student speaking ability. And then population and sample. There are 148 uh, students as a population in this research and researcher choose uh, 15 eight students as a sample of in this research okay and then the technique of collecting data uh, in this research the researcher use test uh, pre-test treatment and post-test and then validity and reliability and the technique of data analysis to analyze quantitative data, researcher will use score from the pre-test and post-test. This score was analyzed using statistical analysis. And in this research, the researcher will use SPSS 26.0 version to find out whether the dictionary game technique has a significant effect on students' PMBT in the grade of SMP Negeri Tiga Langga. Okay, I think this all for my presentation and I'm sorry for my mistake. Wabilahi taufiq walidaya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.